I've got an idea. I've got multiple places to get out of the song, but I only have one way to get into the song. That is from the one of the intro. So what if I set a secondary intro point? So instead of just an eight bar intro, I could cut it in half and have a four bar intro as well. In case I needed to mix out of a point that was four bars or in case I missed the mix point, I'll show you what I mean. This is only eight bars. And so if I wanted to set a secondary hot cue, I would set it halfway through the intro. So let's count this out. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, right? Right there. So I'm gonna stop that right there and I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna use our fifth hot cue down here as my halfway through the intro point. So if I wanted to, I could bring this in from here or I could bring it in from here. So this gives me another option in terms of mixing. Now, this is really helpful. Like let's say we're mixing out a stranger and let's say I just space out and I miss the beginning of it. All right, let me show you now. Two, three, four, two. Oops, I missed it. Okay, so now I can bring it in from five. Super helpful to have that point. Let me do it one more time. Let's go back. Instead of taking it from here, let me show you what happens if I take it from here, actually. So now I've lined up eight bars and this chorus. So now I could... Not as good because this is just the instrumental now and I lose a little momentum, right? Or even worse, if I did that, let me line this up again. And I'll bring it in from the one. Now this is gonna be off, watch. Phrasing wise, it'll be off. So we don't want that, right? Those last two mixes I just showed you, that's what not to do. I'm gonna lose energy on the first one. And in the second one, it's gonna sound weird because I cut the, the, uh, the verse. It went back into the verse, and now I'm cutting this out at a weird place. Remember that we really want to know the songs and have them mapped out so that we can use the natural changes in the song to be able to change the song over. Right? That, that's the whole idea, that's the whole point. So. Having that second hot cue is going to give us a lot more versatility to be able to bring the song in in case I miss it or in case there was a mix point that was shorter. Maybe another song that you're mixing out of has a four bar chorus. Well, no problem. I'll just take it from this fifth cue point instead. This is really important. When I first started to DJ, I would memorize which songs went with which other songs because those are the only songs I knew how to mix together. And I would try to memorize, okay, when he says this, then I start it from this point. And then I was stuck mixing the same songs together all the time. And I wasn't able to sort of change it up. By mapping out the songs and having these hot cues and having some sort of a strategy here, you can glance over at the uh, computer and see, oh yeah, that's right, that's an eight bar chorus. Oh yeah, great. Okay, all right, yes, I can take it from four bars or I can take it from eight bars. And you'll know, you'll know your songs. This is just another great example of being able to know your music to make you more confident when you get up and you play in front of people. So hopefully that was helpful. Now I wanna talk about another concept in terms of getting more music into your library. All right, let's talk a little bit more about adding music to your juiced library. And I actually want to talk about almost creating some separation between music that you like to listen to and music that you would DJ with. So those are two different types of music. Would you agree? I mean, there's definitely a blend in the middle, 
but there's certain music that you've maybe collected over the years, maybe albums you've downloaded on iTunes or whatnot, or just music that you've accumulated over the years as MP3s that you just would never really DJ with. Um, think about an album, for instance. Uh, you're probably not going to play that skit or you know something that's more of an album cut and not like a popular single. So um, I want you to try to separate those, and actually that's what I have in my own library. Um, I don't bring my iTunes into this. You do have the ability to do that inside of Juiced, but I recommend just sort of keeping them a bit separate. So obviously any MP3s that you own can come into Juiced, um, but in addition to that, Juiced has the ability for you to stream music as well. And that's kind of the, the norm now, right? Where most people are streaming music, that's their library. Um, now, we want to be able to try to separate this out a little bit, but if we come on over to our library section, not only do we have this playlist here, but we also have um, Finder, Sampler, I'm going to skip over those right now, iTunes, which I just talked about, Beatport, and um, Cobuzz. So for those of you who have a Cobuzz subscription already, you can log in here. It'll just ask you for your email and password. You'll log in. Um, you can also create a free trial if you want. Um, and then also Beatport. So I've already logged into my Beatport. And in fact, actually, if I go to the back end so you can see what it was, you'll see my details connect. I've connected Beatport Link already. So Beatport Link is connected here. Um, and that's the service that we're using. So Beatport Link gives you the ability to stream tracks within Beatport. Um, you also... Uh, can start to set up your playlist inside of Beatport and save them in your Beatport locker, which is right here. And depending on what the subscription is that you have, there's different levels of subscription for um, Beatport Link, and you'll choose whichever one you want to use. And depending on that, you can actually save tracks offline, uh, which means you don't have to be connected to the Wi-Fi in order to access those songs. There is a limit to the amount of songs that you can have, um, but if you're just streaming, you can do that just connected to the Wi-Fi. Now, um, why would that be a disadvantage sometimes? Well, if you're going out and DJing uh, outside of your home or outside of a place where there's a super stable Wi-Fi connection, uh, you just never know, right? And if you were at a venue and trying to use the Wi-Fi and all of a sudden the Wi-Fi dropped out or got spotty, then you would lose those songs um, and the music would stop in the middle of the party, which you wouldn't want. So if we come over to Beatport though, you'll be able to see that like all of the curated playlists come in, um, I am connected to the internet right now, so I should be able to see all of this. Um, takes a little bit of a minute, but you can see, yeah, here it is. So this is the best new Afro house, um, and this is all. The, these are all the tracks right here. You'll notice that the BPM comes in as well as the key, and I can start to play these songs. So if I load them onto the deck, um, here it goes. It's just going to take a moment. You see it's reading, it's analyzing, and you see that that's happening here, that's also happening on this bar. So it takes a moment to do this if this is the first time that you've played the song. <clears throat> and then once it does it, it's in. You've got 123 beats per minute, still the same BPM. It also filled out the energy field for me, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. And the track is here. So I can also though go in and set hot cues in the same way if I wanted to here. So um, I actually need to change this mode. I was looking at editing the beat grid earlier um, in between takes. And let's move to track player instead. I can set a hot cue, right? And we can start to set cues. We could do all the same things that we would normally do with an MP3, but now we're doing them with songs that are streamed. Now, when I log out of Juiced and log back in, if I were to pull that song back up, all my hot cues would still be there, which is a really awesome feature. So um, at this point in time, what I would like you to do is to start gathering up some music. Maybe you're bringing in songs that you have MP3s of. Maybe you're downloading some songs from iTunes. Maybe you've signed up for a trial with Cobuzz or signed up with Beatport Link. I want you to start to put together four songs, about four songs that are within the same BPM range for the most part that you can start to mix together. And I want you to give your best shot at mapping these songs out and trying to set the hot cues in a similar way that we just did inside of these two demo tracks. So uh, that is some homework for you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Great job today.